Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this collection is the brand new Transformers Amazon exclusive Galactic Odyssey Dominus Criminal Pursuit 2 pack of Barricade and Punch slash Counter Punch. Now, the packaging, of course, is nothing really to write home about. It is a plain cardboard box with Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy and a cool emblem right here, which I guess represents Dominus but it kind of looks like a Cybertronian Black Panther insignia. So I like that. That's kind of cool. It wraps around here on the side as well. Bottom of the box, Dominus Criminal Pursuit. Top of the box, Transformers War for Cybertron. Now you open the set up, and there you have Barricade and Punch slash Counter Punch. Now Barricade here is a repaint of Earthrise Smokescreen, and Punch Counter Punch is just a repaint of the Power of the Primes Punch Counter Punch. That was an Amazon exclusive uh, about two years ago. So now, without further ado, let's get this dastardly duo out of this package and check them out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Barricade and Counter Punch all opened up out of their packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. And this sheet of instructions does cover both figures. They also get their Dominus file card, which goes over the planet Dominus. You got the planet stats here on the back that it's a disaster planet, mainly desert. So right there, if you want to pause and read all that. And you want to pause and read all that as well. So you've got that. Mine come bent. They also have their accessories. Barricade has his two shoulder launchers and his rifle and his light bar accessory. So four accessories altogether for Barricade. Punch, counter punch here has his little pistol. So now let's take a closer look at Barricade. Now, as I said in my intro, Barricade here is a repaint of Earthrise Smokescreen, who, in fact, is a repaint of Earthrise Prowl and Blue Streak. Now, one thing to note is both Blue Streak and Smokescreen came with their shoulder launchers and rifle, where Prowl just came with a rifle and light bar. So you are getting a little extra with Barricade since he has his light bar his two shoulder cannons, and his rifle. Now, I do like the fact they painted his rifle. With all the others, the rifle is the same color as the shoulder cannons. With Barricade, they painted the rifle gold. So that looks really, really good. As you can see, there is the grayish purple of the shoulder cannons. So really good paint job there. Now, taking a closer look at Barricade, I love the paint job on his face. That looks great. He's got the evil red eyes, the purple crest, a white Decepticon logo there on his chest. Now, mine, the gray up here, looks a little scuffed. I mean, it's not bad, but 
Come on, man. I expect a little bit better. So you got the clear headlights there on the chest. Lots of molded details, just like the other Earthrise figures. Down here, he's got those blasted clear shins. Lots of great detail there on the feet, but no paint application. So he's really lacking a lot in the detail department as far as paint goes. The doors do have the police logo, and there's another big scratch right there. That sucks. Other door, not so bad. Now, of course, Barricade has all the articulation as the other figures, so we'll skip over that. In vehicle mode, Barricade looks all right. He still has this blasted clear windshield that shows off all his transformation pieces inside. And unfortunately, mine's got more scuffs right there on the hood. So that is pretty disappointing, but you know, it's nothing I can't live with. I display my bots in robot mode anyway, so you're not going to see that. But still, for an exclusive figure, I expect a little bit of better quality control, but man, Hasbro's been eating it lately with that. The police on the side looks really good, except for that scratch right there. Back of the vehicle could definitely use some paint application. You got the clear windows back here. And some purple shows through from robot modes. Too bad that could have been black to make this more uniformed. I also like his light bar better than Prowl's because his has translucent plastic. And speaking of Prowl, let's pull him out to compare. So there is the two police cars. As you can see, those blasted clip wheels. And another complaint I just now noticed is you've got black clips here on the back, which doesn't look bad. And then you got the purple gray clips here on the front that stand out like a sore thumb. So that doesn't look good at all. Now, right here on the back of the vehicle, you compare Barricade and Prowl. At least Prowl had taillights. Looking at the light bar, Prowl had his light bar is all painted. Barricade, as I said, has the clear one. So it doesn't look that bad at all. Actually, I really like the clear light. So there you have the good cop and bad cop together. I think I'm going to add a purple Decepticon logo right there on the hood. I don't know. That white just, it looked all right at first, but I don't know. I just, I want to like this guy, but there's just, I think the Siege Barricade is a lot better. Yeah, that's just my opinion. So there you go, guys. One final look at Barricade. Now let's move on to Punch Counter Punch. Now, as I said in the intro, Punch Counter Punch here is a repaint of the Power of the Primes Punch Counter Punch that I believe came out in 2018. So let's compare the new Galactic Odyssey version with the Power of the Primes version. And for a repaint, they did not do a very good job with this guy. The first thing I noticed as soon as I opened him out of the package was the no collar in the rims. These rims should be red, just like the Power of the Primes version. Also, he has a different shade of blue. Now, it doesn't look as baby blue as the online pictures showed, but still, it needs to be a darker blue to make him look more like his Generation 1 toy. Also, right here, you'll see there is no paint applications for the vents. Now, I want you to keep in mind that my punch counter punch here has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks, but mainly there's the labels there on the forearms and down here on the thighs and where else? They're on the belt buckle. So moving in closer, let's take a look at the head sculpts. Head sculpts, not too bad. I actually like the eye collar on the newer version better than the old one because the red for his eyes pop a lot more. The Power of the Primes, his eyes are way too dark and they kind of blend into the face. So there's points right here for this guy. Also, of course, there's Toy Hacks labels right here. The detailing, I guess, what do you call it? Pinstriping or whatever on the bottom of the vehicle. The original was all blue, but as I said, Toy Hacks up, where this one now has yellow striping. And moving down to the legs, those details are pretty much the same. So now let's get him transformed into Punch. And it's a pretty simple transformation. You're going to take the top of the head, fold that down so it covers the eyes, turn the figure around, 
flip the hands around. So Punch will have red hands. That was a little tight. Very tight. So we got that going on. Now we're going to take these shoulder pylons and just kind of manipulate these up and over. There we go. They're on a double hinge. So there is the Galactic Odyssey punch. We'll do the same here for the Power of the Primes version. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I do not like the Autobot paint job on the new Galactic Odyssey version. That color yellow just does not work. He needs to be this orange color right here. This orange is more G1. Once again, I want to stress that I have Toy Hex decals on my punch. Detailing the same. Now, the Autobot logo seems to stand out a little bit more on the Galactic Odyssey version. There is no paint on the thighs. These are not Toy Hacks. That's paint on the Power of the Primes version. The new Galactic Odyssey version, no paint whatsoever. Moving on down to the legs. Now, those are Toy Hacks decals. So that's not too bad. But yeah, that, I don't know, that color yellow makes him look more like a play school rescue bot. I just, I do not like that yellow. So now let's take a look at Punch Counter Punch in vehicle mode. Now, if you want to see a full review on this figure, check out my review in the link above for the Power of the Primes version. In vehicle mode, Punch Counter Punch is very bland. Not having those red rims really takes away a lot of this vehicle. Not to mention the clear windows show off all the transformation pieces, including the faux windshield from robot mode. He does have a lot of nice molded detail throughout, but man, those missing paint applications really suck. He's got translucent uh, headlights there in the front, a painted grill. Sure, I got that tabbed in. Yep, just not lining up real good. Back of the vehicle, he also has painted taillights, a colored in back window. And I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's lacking something, especially compared with the Power of the Primes version. Now, mine has been enhanced with Toy Hack, so it has kind of a street racer look, but. Like I said, just missing those painted rims really makes a hell of a difference. And of course, mine has the blacked out windows, which also help a lot with the looks of this vehicle. Now, I forgot to mention earlier that Punch Counter Punch does come with this bright yellow pistol that you could have put in the robot hands, or it also pegs there on top of the vehicle. So, I don't know, guys. I'm not the biggest fan of this repaint. So there you go, Punch Counter Punch in vehicle mode. And now for a quick comparison, here is Transformers Galactic Odyssey Dominus Pursuit Barricade with Generation 1 Barricade, War for Cybertron Siege Barricade with Toy Hacks and Extra Weaponry, and Last Night Barricade. Galactic Odyssey Counterpunch with Generation 1 Counterpunch and Galactic Odyssey Punch with Generation 1 Punch. The Transformers Amazon exclusive Galactic Odyssey 2 pack of Barricade and Punch Counterpunch was honestly kind of a disappointment. I was really looking forward to this set mainly because I'm a huge Barricade fan and couldn't wait to get his Earthrise version, but I just feel that he's lacking. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but he needs more. Now, I'm sure Toy Hacks will come out with a decal set later on to vastly improve him, which will probably change my mind on the figure. Now, as far as Punch Counter Punch is concerned, I hate this repaint. The collars just don't work for him. Plus, they really fumbled the ball on not giving him paint applications, especially on the rims. I mean, that's a signature look for Punch Counter Punch. I don't understand why they just didn't include the original Power of the Primes figure in this set 
instead of bothering with a repaint anyway. So there you go, guys. Transformers, Galactic Odyssey, Dominus Pursuit, Barricade, and Punch Counterpunch. So, does the Amazon exclusive Transformers Galactic Odyssey Dominus Pursuit with Punch Counterpunch and Barricade belong in your collection? You know, only if you really want to add a Barricade to your collection or you missed out on Punch Counterpunch the first time. Other than that, I think these two are an easy pass. Like I said, I love Barricade, but I just feel he should have a little bit more to him. He just seems awful plain, but I'm sure Toy Hacks will fix that up later on. Punch, Counter Punch, on the other hand, I hate this collar on this guy. It was a wasted opportunity to just add the other figure to the collection. Of course, they may not do that to keep the other one an exclusive, but these collars just suck. They just... Like I said, it looks like a play school rescue bot, and he's just he's just lacking. Now, one thing to be aware of, I was uh, brought to this was brought to my attention on my Facebook page that the original Punch Counter Punch you had to do a mod to his shoulders to get him to transform right. You just popped out these little connector pieces, flipped them around, stuck them back in, and a lot of people said they had to do that to this version. I did not. I had no problem transforming this guy, but if you want to do that mod, I did a quick video on it that I'll put a link for right here with the original figure. So that's it. That's my opinion on these two. I, I should have waited for a sale. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patreon Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!